Welcome everyone again on our channel Antenna24. Today I would like to present you a new device compliant with the AC standard operating in currently very desirable mesh network from the rapidly growing company Totolink uh, and that is Totolink T10 router. And the device will be sold as a set of three routers operating in the mesh network or of course individually. In the first phase of the video I'll make a quick unboxing. Then I'll specify the most important information about this device. Moreover I'll show you how to configure the main router and then respectively uh, two other devices operating in communication with the mentioned main router. I also add bandwidth test of this device, so a lot of cool information. Enjoy! As I have mentioned before, I'll start with unboxing. And I like it at the very beginning. Cool design, magnet closed box. It looks really aesthetic. Uh, in the middle, we have three separate smaller boxes. With the, <clears throat> with the same devices uh, and these devices in these boxes we have of course a wireless router totaling T10 which looks like this Here we have our network cable, also in the package. Then we have, of course, our power supply, also in the set. And of course, quick start guide in English. Ok, let's move on. Quick review of this router. T10 is a small and smart device with a nice design. It allows you to create a wireless mesh network by using multiple T10 devices just by clicking WPS button which is located right here. Uh, T10 is uh, compatible with the latest AC standard and offers wireless speed up to 1167 megabits per second. Uh, you can operate simultaneously at 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. The device has 2 gigabit LAN ports here and one gigabit van port. Uh, what's more, wireless roaming helps you exchange a better signal source, providing connectivity and use of wireless internet connection throughout your home. So all Wi-Fi devices will automatically change the signal source to stronger when you move. T10 set can be used in medium-sized homes with the need for wide Wi-Fi network. A router supports many device extensions, so you can always buy, for example, one router and connect it to your mesh network. We also have here a new Wave 2 Mumimo technology that improves the comfort of use. Router supports DHCP, static AP, PPPoE and QoS management and provides high quality encryption. Of course you can create more than one uh, Wi-Fi network to provide internet access for guests. And considering many advantages of this device and in particular the fact that it operates in mesh network, the price of 52 American dollars per piece is very very good. For comparison you can check prices of mesh devices from other manufacturers and then you'll see. Now I'll show you how to create a mesh network. So this is very simple. Firstly you must plug in all of the devices to electrical grids. One of them must be also connected to your computer with LAN cable. Correspondingly of course through LAN port on a device and LAN port on your computer. This is our main device called Master. Leave other two devices unchanged, however it is important that they are within one meter of the main device. Then enter the address of your main device into your web browser, just as you see right now. In the interface enter data that is admin admin and login. Then click advanced setup, operation mode and select mode that you are interested in, so that is mesh mode and click next. In this tab, select Enable and wait for the devices to pair. It may take a while. Now your devices should flash orange and red, just as you see. And that was our main device and here you have two other.
and after some time uh, routers should turn solid green while the main device should blink green just as you see Now let's go to the tab System Status where you can easily notice that your set is operating in mesh mode and here you have your additional two devices and such a network can also be created in a different way namely after connecting your devices to electrical grids and after connecting your main router with a LAN cable to a computer just click this button on the main device and hold it for about 3 seconds until you notice flashing orange and red again. After this the process looks the same. As you have probably noticed it is very easy. I also invite you to see a T10 test results that are available at our website. A link is given in the description of this video and on our forum for discussion on this topic. Uh, in this video that's all, thank you all for watching, subscribe to our channel to be up to date with our new productions, I also invite you to watch our other videos and see you again.